ChatGPT 5 just rolled out, and I gotta say, I'm a little obsessed. After spending the last couple days putting it through every business scenario I could think of, I can honestly say this is the first AI that actually delivers on what we've been promised all along. In this video, I'll show you what makes ChatGPT 5 different from all the other versions that disappointed us before, nine specific ways you can use it to market and grow your business like you have a whole team, and how to get results in hours instead of weeks, even if you're a complete AI beginner. Now, before I show you the use cases, let's talk real quick about what's new and improved that make these use cases possible. First up, they finally fixed the confusion around the models. Remember how you'd have to choose between version 4, 4 Turbo, ChatGPT 03, and you never really knew which one to pick, right? That's all gone. ChatGPT 5 is just ChatGPT 5. One of their employees actually said it best. It aims to think just the perfect amount to give you the perfect answer. But here's what's really cool. So it can actually switch between the different models within your conversation. So if you start with a simple question, it uses a lighter model. But then if you ask something more complex, it automatically switches to heavy duty mode. So you don't have to do anything. But the second improvement is the one that made me actually trust this thing. So the previous versions would hallucinate. You know, that's just tech speak for make stuff up about four to 6% of the time. So if you asked it for 20 facts, at least one of them was probably bogus and you never knew which one. But with ChatGPT 5, it's now less than a 1% hallucination rate. Still not zero, but it's better odds at least. Third change, and this one's big, ChatGPT 5, which includes deep reasoning models, is available on the free plan. The free tier never used to have any of those reasoning models, so this is pretty big news. That doesn't mean you can do everything that I'm about to show you on the free plan, but what you can get for free today is miles ahead of what you were getting for free before. Okay, and there are way more improvements that we'll cover as we go through the use cases. So let's get into the good stuff, nine ways that you can use these improvements to actually grow your business. GPT-5 is so much better now at predicting outcomes and thinking through different scenarios. That means it can now give you advice that's actually useful and it's based on its ability to predict how any changes you make might impact your business. Here's a great example. I just gave it a screenshot of one of my free masterclass opt-in pages, or you know, you can give it a link to, that works too. I told it that I would like to improve the conversion rate and get more people to actually opt in for it. Because guess what? The more people who take the free class, the more people buy my paid course on the back end of it. And the suggestions it came back with, I'm talking specific headline rewrites, image suggestions, trust signal additions, you know, stuff that you'd pay a conversion expert really good money for. So GPT-5's coding skills have really leveled up, but almost every video that I've seen that covers it just uses it to make some kind of a video game. And I'm like, that's cool, but so what? How does you know making a different version of Tetris or chess help me grow? So we're not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna give you two really cool business uses for this. So first, you can have it build a custom dashboard of your sales funnel so you can see how revenue would go up or down based on different things you could do at different stages of your funnel. Now, the easiest way to do this is probably just to open up voice mode and just tell it what you wanna track. Tell it you want it to ask you all the relevant questions about your business that it needs, right? Your traffic numbers, conversion rates, product prices, your current revenue. It needs all that baseline information before it gets coding or it's just gonna give you something generic that doesn't actually help. So what it gave me was this really slick looking dashboard where I can just start playing around with different parts of the funnel to simulate different scenarios. Like, what if I could get more YouTube viewers? Or what if more of them opted in for my free masterclasses? What about if my sales page conversion rate went from 5% to 6%? And to be very clear here, I didn't code any of this myself. I wouldn't even know where to start. I just told it what I wanted out of it and it did everything. And this kind of tool is really valuable because it shows you which parts of your funnel would do the most good to improve first. You know, maybe you've been obsessing over getting more traffic when actually a 1% bump in conversion rate would double your revenue. So it's just gonna tell you exactly where to focus to grow your revenue the fastest. 
Or what about an interactive widget that you can put on your website to keep visitors more interested and more likely to convert? Now, ChatGPT has been able to do things like this for a while now, but again, it's improved coding abilities and the fact that it can stick to the details you give it better, just make it work better now. So here's what I did to test this out. So I sell a couple digital courses and I thought it would be really cool to add a widget like this one that I found on Amy Porterfield's sales page. It just shows people how long the program would take to complete based on how many hours they can spend on it per week. It's not just a fun interactive feature, it actually answers a question that a lot of people have before buying. So I just gave ChatGPT a simple screenshot of what it needs to be and said, make me something like this but I could make it feel more at home on my site by giving it the link to my sales page and ask it to match the styles. You know, same font, same colors, so it looks like it was always meant to be there. So if you find something like that you like on another site, right, a cool calculator or an interactive element on any website, ChatGPT can build one for you too. And you don't even have to have a mock-up to show it. You can just ask for whatever you can dream up and it's gonna code it for you. Then when it's done, all you gotta do is ask it to package up the whole thing as a WordPress plugin and to give you instructions on how to put it on your site. The whole thing takes about five minutes start to finish. So not only is ChatGPT5 better at coding now, but it also got a major upgrade when it comes to writing in a way that actually sounds like a real person. I used to prefer Claude for writing, hands down, but now I'm not so sure. I can't say ChatGPT5 is definitely better than Claude, I just haven't used it enough to, to really say that, but it seems like it's at least as good now, which is saying something. Now that'd be great, because then I could get rid of another paid tool and just have everything be in ChatGPT. So the use case I wanna highlight here is pretty much any marketing copy or content marketing that you'd need for your business. LinkedIn articles, YouTube scripts, weekly emails to your list, teaching them something new. There are endless possibilities for this. But let's just say you're using it for LinkedIn articles, for example. All you'd wanna do is start by, you know, brain dumping your thoughts about something that you're seeing in your industry, or maybe it's a trend that's bothering you, or a mistake you see everybody making. Just write it all down somewhere, totally unstructured and messy is fine. Then I would just tell it, turn this into a LinkedIn article. Add supporting stats and research, write it in my voice. And it does. Not in that obvious AI voice that we can all recognize at this point, in your voice, as long as you give it a sample of your writing, of course. And this can work for YouTube scripts, Instagram posts, email newsletters, whatever content you need. Okay, now we're getting into the really powerful stuff with ChatGPT's new agent mode. This is a new feature where ChatGPT can actually go out and browse the internet and complete multi-step tasks all on its own. You just give it the goal and it's gonna figure it all out. And it does it all in its own browser too, so you can be doing other things while it's working. Now, this in my opinion is exactly what the future of AI looks like, where you can basically have multiple, you know, virtual employees working on tasks independently. Now, honestly, there are too many use cases for this to show in this or any video, so I'm just gonna share one right here that I figured out just so you can see the kinds of things it can do. So I used it to solve one of the biggest sticking points that my YouTube course students have, which is picking the right topics and titles for their videos. So that used to mean using paid tools and just hours and hours of manual research. And even with all that, you know, most of my students aren't YouTube experts, so they would spend all that time and they'd still pick the wrong videos to make. Well, not anymore, because my team and I created a prompt for agent mode that sends it out to analyze YouTube itself. It looks for what videos are getting views in your niche, what people are searching for, it identifies gaps that you could fill, it even figures out viral title patterns that actually get clicks. So just tell it what your niche is, and 20 minutes later, you could get a full year's worth of video topics organized from easy wins to tackle first, then harder keywords as you grow. It's doing the work that used to take me a full day, and honestly, it's doing it better. And that prompt is included in my YouTube to Clients Academy in case you are interested. All right, sticking with agent mode for a bit, here's another really awesome use for it one-step lead magnets. And if you don't know, lead magnets are just those free guides or checklists that people download in exchange for their email address. Super important for building your list of future clients, right? But just like YouTube research, most people spend a whole lot of time coming up with the wrong topic that nobody actually cares about, and then they don't know how to actually make the thing. So to test this, I was inspired by one of my students who coaches mothers of kids with ADHD. 
So I was like, let's make the perfect lead magnet for her business. So I told Agent Mode, make me the most compelling, enticing, actionable, quick win lead magnet for mothers of children with ADHD. But here's the key, I didn't tell it what to make. I told it to first research what these mom's biggest pain points are. What do they wish that they could solve right now? So as a first step, it went out and did the research, you know, coming through forums and stuff to figure out what those moms were actually saying. Then it came back with five different angles for the lead magnet. I picked the Calm the Chaos Routine Planner because that just seemed like a really good uh, pain point to solve. Then, once I chose that, it went back to work creating the whole thing. It researched it, it wrote every page, designed the layout, even created a professional cover image. It took 15 minutes, but it was a total of three minutes of my time. And the final result was just this link to a PDF that I could download and you know, people would actually want it. Okay, so I wanted to see just how far that I could push agent mode. And I think that I might have found the single most impactful use case for any solo business owner. Because here's the thing, when you're running a business by yourself, you don't necessarily have anyone to bounce ideas off of, you know? No one to tell you if your brilliant idea sucks. So I thought, what if I could create an entire board of advisors using a single AI prompt? Not just any advisors though, I wanted the authors of the business books that literally changed how I think about business. Books like 10X is easier than 2X, Profit First, Radical Candor, They Ask You Answer, and $100 million offers. So I sent Agent Mode out with a mission. Go research everything about these five books and their authors. Find their advice patterns, their famous quotes, their business philosophies, their typical responses to problems. Then package it all up in 20 to 50 page reports for each person. And I wanted them all structured specifically to help the AI think and respond like they would. Then about 20 minutes later, I had five really deep personality profiles, plus instructions for turning this all into a functioning board of advisors. So what I did was I created a custom GPT, I uploaded those documents, I added the instructions it gave me into the custom instructions, and then I just named it my board. Now if I'm stuck on something or if I have a big decision to make, I can just present my idea to that virtual board. And here's another ChatGPT5 improvement that actually makes this work better than it would have before. They've figured out how to, what they say, reduce sycophancy. Basically, that just means it's not gonna blow sunshine anymore. It gives actual pushback now, because the old ChatGPT, I don't know if you noticed, but pretty much just always tell you every idea you had was great. And that sounds nice until you waste three months building something that nobody wants because ChatGPT told you how great of an idea it was. But this actually challenges you. It asks hard questions, points out the flaws. These are the things you need when you're a solopreneur with no one else to reality check your ideas. Okay, so I don't know if you've ever played around with the voice feature in ChatGPT, but it's pretty cool, especially when you wanna use it as a brainstorm partner or just to you know, talk something out. It actually sounds super realistic and it's, it's nice to be able to talk sometimes rather than type everything out. So voice itself isn't new, but what is new with GPT-5 is you can now use it inside a custom GPT. And here's why that's so cool. So, what if you could create a customized business coach that you don't have to type with? You can actually talk to them. I personally paid for a real business coach for over a year, and I can tell you firsthand, that would have been a major bummer and a time suck and way less productive if we had to text the whole time. So this is a really big development. Just like that board of advisors, you can base your virtual coach on a real business person that you respect, like, you know, Mark Cuban or Alex Hermosi, or you can even base it on business books that you upload as a knowledge base. If you're basing it on a person, use agent mode to really dig into their teachings, right? Have them find YouTube videos, podcasts, articles they wrote. Then again, have it create that, you know, 50 something page training document of all their stances, coaching methods, famous quotes, pretty much everything that's gonna help it know what that person would actually say in any situation. Just playing around with this, I did one based on the business coach, Peter Bulka. Had it research him, created that 50 page report, and then I created a custom GPT, uploaded that document into it, then I gave it instructions to adopt Peter's persona and act as a business coach. And here's where it becomes really valuable. So tell it specifically, not to just give easy answers, but to always ask questions 
to get you to find the answer yourself. That is what's gonna make you a better business owner. If it just tells you what to do, you're basically just working for the AI now. So after you've made it and you wanna use it, all you gotta do is fire up voice mode and start talking. You can either do that on desktop or on the app. And yeah, it might feel silly at first to be talking to like an AI bot, but trust me, you'll get used to it pretty fast. You'll probably even forget it's not a real person. Now, another cool feature releasing with GPT-5 are Google connectors. So this means you can hook your Gmail and your Google Calendar directly to your ChatGPT account. Now, I'm recording this on Saturday, and this feature is supposed to roll out this week. So I haven't been able to use it yet, but it is coming. And before I get to the actual use case that I thought of here, here's just a taste of some of the cool little ways that you can use it to make your life easier. You could do things like use voice mode on your app to just tell it verbally to add something to your calendar when you're out on the go. Ask it to give you a quick snapshot of your day based on your calendar. Or you can ask it if you have any important emails that you know may have slipped through the cracks that you haven't responded to. Now I'm guessing it's also gonna be able to automatically respond to emails using some kind of a knowledge base like your FAQs that you would upload, but I'm not sure, so stay tuned on that. And let me know in the comments below if you want me to do another video about that once it actually comes out. Okay, so all those little things are pretty cool on their own, but here's a really simple use case I thought of that could actually help your business. Ask it to comb through your entire inbox to find the best customer emails that you could use as testimonials. I'm sure you've got something in there, right, where the customer gushes about how much they enjoyed working with you or how much you actually helped them solve their problem. Because usually when we get an email like that, uh, we feel great about it for about five minutes, but then we forget to save them anywhere. And meanwhile, these testimonials are marketing gold just sitting in your inbox. You can put them on your website, use them on social, add them to your sales pages, whatever. And we haven't even talked about ChatGPT's image generator yet. So while it's not technically new to ChatGPT 5, the fact that it now sticks closer to your prompts is going to make this work even better than before. So to see seven amazing ways you can use ChatGPT's image tool for your marketing, click this video where I'm going to show you exactly what's possible. It's honestly pretty crazy what this one tool can do, and you probably won't have to pay a designer ever again. So click right here, and I'll show you everything.